Hello, this is Hakka Devine, and today we are going to be reading SCP-639. A distorted man. I've got to close something. Let's get right into it. Item number, SCP-639. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-639 is to be kept in a standard containment cell measuring 3 meters by 3 meters. Furniture will never subject require so long as the items do not threaten security. SCP-639 should not leave containment area without an escort of at least one security guard, and should not be allowed to mingle with site personnel. <clears throat> Description: SCP-639 is a Caucasian male, approximately 1.6 meters in height, and weighing 78 kilograms. Age 24. SCP-639 is viewed simultaneously on all angles, regardless of viewer's position. Being in front of the uh, figure will have a view of his back, si his front, back, sides, and so forth. Attempts to capture you is something any sort of photograph medium yields a heavily distorted figure. Exposure to SCP-639 causes extreme eye strain and mild paranoia. While some was reporting not knowing if he was coming or going, or what he was even looking at. Effects do not persist once SCP-639 is removed. It should be noted that SCP-639 observes the whole of the world in the same fashion and that it observes him. That is, all objects are apparently seen from all angles at once, at once which seems to have caused extreme paranoia as well as a host of associated mental illnesses. SCP-639 was recovered in Redacted, Texas from the Redacted County Mental Hospital. Subject was under the care of Dr. Redacted who alerted the Foundation and on May 12th, 20 Redacted year. SCP-639 was picked up by I agents redacted and redacted under the guise of medical transfer. Class C amnestics were administered to the staff. SCP-609 was transferred to site redacted, where he is currently being kept. And then them, following inter interviews by Dr. Redacted. I'm going to start calling him Dr. Steven. Interviewed, SCP-639. Interviewer, Dr. Steven. Forward, initial interview... With SCP-639, Dr. Steven interacts with SCP-639 and we use of an external speaker system to reduce visual stress. Hello, 639. I am Dr. Steven. Unintelligible muttering. 639? 639! They think to see me to see that which I am and what's well. Oh be that all, is all of me to, to see, to see, to see. Subject 639, I am Dr. Steven. Do you understand? Where are you? Not above, not below, front or behind, neither to the left nor the right, but straight along the path of righteousness. Where are you? Where? 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 639? I'd like to ask you some questions. You are not real. What do you... I see you. Oh, oh, the world thinks that which is there. All sides. It's all that is. And was. And will be. There I see. You're not... Oh, uh, no. Oh, you're not there for... You are not, are you not another voice, a new a voice here with raw ears and no godly eyes? 639, which direction are you facing? SCP-639 laughs and points. Due to his effect, this is less helpful than, this is less than helpful. You are facing every direction simultaneously? I see all that it is, and was, and will be from all sides, and angles, and points, and... Yeah, I think we're done here. Final note. Definite signs of mental o o illness. Things that the interviewer is not real, unless physically present to be seen. But as that causes serious visual and mental stress, 
A significant error, I do not recommend it. Note, I was wrong. Just facing away from it seems to negate visual stress. Although interviewing someone while facing away from them is... Awkward. Still preferable to the alternative. Interview log 639B. Interviewed. D-Class Personnel D-639-9. Dr. Steven. Initially, all interviews to establish the effect of SCP-639 on D-Class Personnel. Hello, D-39-9. I am Dr. Steven. Uh, hello. If you would please describe your encounter with the subject. You mean that... I don't even know what to call that, Doc. Dang, man. That thing was like... It was like, you know, when you're in a funhouse, they got all the mirrors around you? Indeed. It was like someone took all the reflections from the different mirrors and stacked them on top of the other, but I don't know. I don't know how to... Please try. Alright. Could I get some aspirin or something? Give me a killer headache. Please. Frick. Fine, whatever. Like, if you sucked all the reflections, but you could see them all by themselves, like, one-on-one, -on -one, but you saw them all at the same time. That's the best I could do, Doc. I see. Was there... anything else? Any sort of emotional response you felt? Sudden compulsions? Anything like that? Uh, well, I guess so. I mean, he was looking at me, right? But he wasn't looking at me because he was facing the other way. But both ways at once. I just felt... Paranoid as hell, Doc. I didn't know if he was coming or going. I didn't know if he knows me or what he was looking at. And he hurt to see. Gave me a headache, right? Please, could I get a, please, could I get a glass of water or something? Certainly. I have everything in you I need. The guard will see you back to your cell. D-6099 begins to leave, but then pauses. Uh, there was one other thing. Yes? I'm not sure, but I think he was crying. End of log. D-6099 was kept in solitary confinement to determine whether or SCP-6099 caused any sort of a medic or mental effect. None service or over the course of the quarantine and its subject was terminated on schedule. So we're still going with that lie. I don't believe D-Class are just terminated. What a waste of a perfectly good test subject. Anyway. That was SCP-639, a very distorted in person. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!